We begin tonight with an update on a Fayette County School Board member who used school records to send a campaign text blast to thousands of people. And now, Will Nash is being criticized by the board and people in the community for another outreach. This time, a postcard sent to thousands of people across Lexington. And it's not the content of the cards, but the potential conflict of interest and the discount he got using the school district's name. LEX 18's Claire Kopsky has the update in tonight's Big Story at 5. 14,000 Lexingtonians opened their mailbox last week to find this card. It appears to be sent from Fayette County Public Schools, but it was actually sent from school board member Will Nash using the district's logo and the district postage code to save money. The card lists statements about Mr. Nash identical to what's on his campaign website. It also says he wants to hear from you, directing recipients to district1survey.com. That site asks for your name and email address before you can fill out and submit the 10 question survey. Mr. Nash tells me this survey was all about getting to know his constituents in District 1. My intent was to try to create more avenues and to make it easy. You know, the, the first thing that I received as a new board member was a board cell phone and a board email address. And that signals to me that communication is important. A Fayette County Schools teacher whose voice we've altered to protect her identity is among several others who tells us something about this card felt off. Why are we deceiving people into feeling like they got a mailer from the school system and now being told it wasn't from the school system? But if you wanted opinions from those in his district, parents, teachers, and other board members want to know why Mr. Nash didn't send it out when he first joined the board last fall. So there again, unethical. It's just really bothersome. Mr. Nash tells me he just thought of the idea and says it has nothing to do with his campaign. As I shared, there's an election in District 1 this November and there's an election in District 1 next November. And so there's literally no time that I might not be campaigning. And so that's a criticism that I just have to bear because, um, because there will be critics. And, and that's the nature of public service, I think. After the use of phone numbers from the district, parents and teachers I spoke with say they're concerned that if they share their email address in the survey, they can't trust Mr. Nash won't use it for his campaign. Well, I, I'm not, so let me state that clearly. And if anyone has that concern, I would just say don't share your email address with me. He suggests just typing fake information if you're concerned. But the concerns don't stop there. This week, Mr. Nash handed me his receipts that he says proves he paid the $4,400 for the mailers. I called the company that mailed the postcards and asked them for a quote on $14,000. Their quote suggests Mr. Nash saved more than $1,600 in shipping using the district's nonprofit code. On Monday night, the chair of the Fayette County School Board read a statement at their public meeting. To say that I am disappointed is an understatement. She revealed Mr. Nash asked the board attorney if he could use the district's postal preferred rate. The attorney replied in an email. Postal rules would require the mailer to indicate it came from the school district as a nonprofit government organization. This would appear to create a conflict since you are apparently designed that the contents be yours rather than the subject rather than subject to the input of other board members. The attorney suggested Mr. Nash ask Lexington's postmaster if using the discount was okay. But the chair of the board says, On Thursday, October 10th, 2019, I asked Mr. Nash if he had contacted the postmaster, and he was honest that he did not. Mr. Nash tells me he made a, quote, mistake going against the attorney's advice, and he apologizes. As I was digging for details on this story, though, I learned he's been accused of doing something similar before. Back in 2005, Mr. Nash ran for student body president at the University of Kentucky. He won, but then a lawsuit was filed claiming he used a university tax exemption number while purchasing campaign supplies, among other violations. After months of a court battle which made national news, Mr. Nash never took office. After this latest incident, this teacher says an apology isn't going to cut it. I, I just am so disappointed and I feel like he should step down. And I feel like the district should require him to step down. I absolutely love Fayette County Schools. They do so many good things. And in order to do that, I mean, when you send your child off to school, you want to be able to trust the people that are in charge of it. If it was a teacher that had gotten access to parent phone numbers, I feel like there'd be no question that we would have been let go. So why is it different for a school board member? Why is it so different? And why is the district or the board not taking action? In Lexington, Claire Kopsky, LEX 18 News.
The spokesperson for Fayette County Public Schools says the district did not print, pay for, or know about the mailing ahead of time. As for any consequences, the board chair accepted Nash's apology Monday night and said she hopes the board and community can move on. As for the campaign text blast we reported last week, we're told several people have filed formal complaints with state agencies.